path there, yeah. Don't want to go that way. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty amazing phone. The resolution on the thermal imager is 252 by 120, which is much higher resolution than the one I previously had. Right, a lot of bats out tonight. Fair amount of bats. Yeah, like I was saying before, I wouldn't mind if this thermal had a one times. Well, if it did, I would helmet mount it then. It's just a shame it hasn't. Yeah, the thermal's not picking anything up apart from the old bat. Yeah. I'll carry on up the path. It is uh, very, very dark. Under the tree canopy, though. I mean, as you could see before, there was no, um, there's no stars out. It's completely void of stars. I mean, of course, you will get some sea glow because I'm only about probably three or four miles, maybe from the nearest residential area. Probably about six or seven miles from the nearest sort of major residential. Preston is not that far away. Probably eight miles, maybe. Yeah, maybe eight miles. Might be less. The thing is, I'm in a bit of a basin here. The road to Brock Valley goes down a hill. So it's sort of like a bowl in the middle of the woods. So it does get very, does get very dark in here, especially with the tree canopy overhead. It's a mouse or something on the other side. And of course, because the wood, the, the foliage is very dense, I'm struggling to see through it with the thermal. Yeah, I mean, it will see through light cover, but it's struggling tonight. Mind you, the night vision is fucking struggling too. Oh, and if you hear any stray farts, that's because I'm oh, I've changed of diet. So, oops, uh, but it's quite, a, quite a drastic change of diet. So basically, I'll give you a rundown of what I used to eat. So for breakfast, I'd probably have like three or four slices of white bread with butter on top and peanut butter uh, okay where's the path oh it's here right peanut butter so so i'd spread it quite you know fairly thinly i guess then i'd have a coffee with sweetener you know i'd given up i mean coffee with sugar uh, sugar and coffee rather years ago so then for dinner i'd have i like these chicken kias which is like cheese and ham with a portion of chips but I'd have some veg on top, like broccoli or like mixed veg, you know, cook it from frozen. I might do some gravy on top. And I'd use the, the water that I boiled the veg in, I'd make the gravy from that. But I think possibly 
I was hitting a bit too much salt. So, uh, so basically, yeah, I've got a gall, gall, a gall stone and a kidney stone. I don't know how big the kidney stone is yet. I've got to talk to my doctor. But apparently the gall stone's quite big. seems to be loads of, I don't know what they are, they look like, um, like lilies or something, a lily pad, that's what it looks like, I won't be able to see much on the other side, because of the amount of lily pads and foliage, yeah. nothing on this side, yep, this is not very well focused though. Yeah, it's really badly focused actually. Oh, do you know the only thing I forgot? A bloody tripod. Because normally I'll put this put this on a tripod and then like film myself so I can take some photos or images or whatever you know use them for like profile pictures or whatever in a hole this tube is apparently gen 3 has like you know like a I guess a lifespan of 15,000 hours thereabouts so I read I was comparing gen 2 against gen 3 you know I had the XR5 tube so I had a chance to do some tests and uh, so Gen 2 has got like a lifespan of about 10,000 hours, Gen 3 15,000 thereabouts, but as you hit close to 10,000 on Gen 2 Plus, the drop off point is quite heavy, it's quite bad, but then as you hit close to 15,000 on Gen 3, the drop off it's not as bad. So whereas Gen 2 is really going to suffer when it gets close to 10,000 hours, Gen 3 isn't. So anyway, here we are, the normal log that I normally sit on. Oh, certainly need to sit down. So I'll reach you out there. The light. Give you a chance to. So what is a bat? There's a few bats and moths and all that shit. Um, try. And I think it's roughly 